Hi, welcome back to Reality Bites. This is Indira. This is Moya. And this is Karan. Um, yes, today we have Karan <laughs> joining us. Today we have on a, a man's perspective. For sure. What's happening in the show? Because, you know, sure. women, we are very opinionated about these kinds of things. But it yeah. would be, we thought it would be interesting to hear what a man thinks of the women, but also what he thinks, thinks of, of the men. I process. As well, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. Right so in. welcome to Ran. Well, thanks for having me today. This mm -hmm. is going to be interesting. I, I had a chance to view it today, and I'm like, these are some interestingly placed characters. Like, yes, they're, they're yes. all over. They uh, are. Let's get into interestingly it. Placed, what makes them interestingly placed? Mm -hmm. uh, because they are like, it's like different. Not errors per se, but just different, like different sections. It's like I'm looking at some of these characters, and I'm like, "Wait, are you really here for love, or like, what what are you, what are you here for? Um, like, yeah. what's your what's your end goal?" Because I was like, there was one character, and I was like, "Okay, like, dude, just just be quiet." Because I mean, dude, <laughs> I just watching you, and I bought already. Like, I don't even keep going. Oh, oh God! Wait, wait, I don't even wasn't even there. The ball head. The dude with the ball head. It's true. Uh -huh. It's what several was he about what was he doing? What was he doing? I actually made a note because I'm like, you know what? Yes. Let me write his name down. Yes, I he made was it was Paul. Oh. Paul. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's just let's 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 let's, let's just go with that. Let's let's just jump on. Listen, that. from episode one, we know Paul is a hot mess, okay? So <laughs> I, what I will say now is this episode, I actually liked him more than I did last episode. I liked him more, but he's still going. He going next week. We said that last week. He going this week. You think week. so? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. Do. I do. Yeah, because I think who he likes doesn't like him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He likes Joy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. He, I, did, he I likes didn't see that in this one. You didn't? Sorry? I didn't see... That interaction between him and Joy in this episode. She was the first date that he had by. And they went on the date. Himself. And that he was, remembered oh, her not... drink. He remembered Oh, yeah, her that's her not going to happen then. Yeah. Yes, oh, yeah, Joy, yeah, happen. Joy was his first date. And she actually said that she wanted to go on another date with him. But. He's lying. Say what? <laughs> so she's lying. lying. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Joy, actually, she's, she's a straight shooter. Joy, Joy is pretty. Pow, pow. Like, yeah. she, I, I like her. I like that about her. She's I like actually, her. I like her energy. Yeah, she's my yeah. favorite female character. She's very bop. Like, this is how I feel. I like her and I like Ace. And, um, it's like uh, Ace. The one that Ace, like yes. Ace is my spirit, my spirit animal. <laughs> yes. You know, Ace is interesting. I'm, I was getting more like, you know, on some parts of it, I'm like, okay, like, I like her energy. You know, it's peaceful. And then there was like an, Another portion, but I'm like, it's almost giving me like tear and headlights kind of thing. <laughs> like, like the last one with Billy when she was talking to him, and I'm like, why is she Wiley. doing that? What is, yeah, Wiley. What's his name? Wiley. Yeah. Wiley. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That's I guess one of those things. Right? I think yeah. it's possibly because her match is not there, mm. and so she's probably not connecting to who she needs to connect to. Now, listen. I don't know. We haven't seen we haven't seen enough yet though. Laverne seems very smitten with her though. I don't I'm not yeah, but something because he was singing her praises, but we haven't seen him on a date with her. So I was like, did he know her from before? Because he was like even yeah, when yeah, but see, I I I from last week to this week, I gotta I gotta put my eye up for Laverne because like Tommy said, sometimes you need to just be quiet. He was talking a lot. This yeah. week, you think? Yes, he was talking. Too much. Like he was really singing her praises, but mm -hmm. I don't know if he's maybe just a wordsmith and he just likes to make it flowery and just pour on all the charm and stuff. So I'm like, okay, what's happening there? Okay. I can yeah, see he in his date with Blue Eyes. I can start calling these people by nickname. Oh, Blue Eyes. <laughs> Carmen, <laughs> Carmen, the new one. Yeah, I remember her. Blue Eyes. Who's making sport of people because they didn't have their real hair? Mom, your eyes are not yours, okay? I and was shocked when she said that. I was like, oh no, you didn't. 
It was a bit of not is coming out. Yeah. Laverne, no, she, 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 came, she came with it. She came with it. She came with it. Yeah. What I mean is, her, she's new, so we just met her this week. So right. she wasn't in the last episode, that, right? Right. Um, that we reviewed. She was one of the her. She and Cleo was one of the blind. Cornelius. Ladies. Cornelius. Please, Cornelius. Oh, and we have another Cornelius, but she and Cornelius were were new this week. Mm -hmm. But she came with the energy. She came with the energy. She on did. With Laverne. You know, did. Laverne reminds me reminded me of someone who likes to jump into things quickly because as he was talking about Ace, I'm like, do like you know this from before the show Ace because That's I mean that's what I'm saying. You know, Ace cool and everything, yeah. but as if you were, yeah. I think right. though from from the last season and what they were saying is that the even though we're seeing something on the screen, these they once they meet at the mixer, they have the the ability to Personal call interactions. So, right. Yeah. So they may, he may have been an, having conversations with her, with he her off yeah off, off screen off screen, which makes mm. it amazing on screen when he's all this flowery things about her. Now mind you, I like Ace. Ace to me, see though in some of her shots, like how you say she you said there in headlights, she seemed like she was high. Like she was she seemed like she was yes. like like she had just smoked a really, really great blonde. She gave me Erica Badu vibes and she was like, hey. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I was like, this high. Like, this is going on. Like, <laughs> Every time they would talk to her, she would say, hey. <laughs> and I would be like, girl, she like, all right. But, you know, it was that scene for me when she was talking to the Wiley, Wiley guy, Wiley. Wiley. Mm -hmm. Wiley. He was mm -hmm. so happy until I get it, Wiley. And he was just like, you know, I really like it. And she was just like, uh-huh, uh-huh. And I'm like, girl, what's going on? <laughs> She's like, oh, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't if she if she does. I wouldn't. I would say I wouldn't be surprised. But I think she has good energy. I think mm -hmm. she brings she does, yeah. she energy does. She and does. positive vibe because she was like even with the women. She was like that's when when she said I was saying I like the little tagline with still coming oh. with the baddies. She was like praising <laughs> the other women, which I thought was like really, really nice and really, really uh, a good energy to bring. Yes. As opposed to say Carmen, who I also think is a straight shooter like Joy. And mm -hmm. I like some parts of her, but bringing that kind of negative kind of, oh, my hair is real. Um, you know, unlike a lot of these other women. Or um, even she threw some shade at um, my uh, teddy bear, who actually became my favorite this week. Um, over Tori, Tori did. Tori was not acting right. This oh, time. I was just going to say, I heard, I heard last week's commentary from your commentary. And I'm like, oh, this. Yeah, what? this. You mean about Tori? Oh, you mean about yeah. 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 Put something down for Tori. I was like, he looks <laughs> yeah. well. He looks stylish. I'm like, how oh, how old is Tori? I didn't get his age. Because I was getting like twenty. Oh, is he twenty? I don't even know. Uh uh. Is he how old is he? Do you know, Tori is thirty nine. Oh yeah. really? Very close. Oh, to okay. Very I thought he was just. It looks very playful. He came off. He did come off as playful this week and um, just immature a bit. Um, I thought that the conversation for someone his age was, and I I'm gonna Ooh, read it okay. as. And I guess you can tell me if sometimes guys, Tehran, you can speak to this. If sometimes guys see certain women as this, they see certain women as a sexual thing, um, and then they see certain mm -hmm. women as more, right? So, like, how you, I think, like, for example, with Laverne, I think he sees Carmen as someone that matches his, like, that sexuality. Yes. Yeah. Because they but have he, they have a lot in common. He sees right. it, they do, they do, but then he sees Ace as really that that trope, that person, that person that he could actually build with. Right. And mm -hmm. so I was wondering if if Tori came at Joy like that because he just saw her as a physical thing, but not necessarily anything more. Like it just came off. And 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 part of it, I I'm I'm the, the production, the producer in me was like. Whoever edited this, they left a lot of the meat on the floor because even when, even with Clifton's date with um, the, Kia. Friend, the Kia, the Kia, they it was like 
what do you think about premarital sex? And I was like, who asks that? Like, who says, let me ask about premarital sex? Like, that's I'm saying production no, told them to ask though. that. I think, think production but, told them to ask that. Know. But, okay, that's my point. Like, it's like, what? Because everything was sexual. Like, it was like Tori's question was about sex. Uh, mm -hmm. Clifton, what, Clifton in, um, in his date, it was about sex. New boy, Mr. Cornelius, who has an issue with the concept of marriage, but he's coming on a show for Ready to Love. His He had a whole thing about sex. And I was like, like who is, like, these are 30-something, 40-something-year-olds, and it feels like a 20-something-year-old is producing it. Conversation. Because the conversations are very immature. Like, they're not having meat and potato conversations. Despite the fact that Poe tried to act as if he was having some kind of deep questioning. <laughs> That question, that question that Paul was saying was not deep. Pause right there. Uh, Wait a minute, please, Moya. Um, you tune this thing again. Yeah, this alarm. Hold on. <laughs> so, oh, shoot this alarm. <laughs> she did this alarm went off last week as well. What is with you and your alarm, girl? It just goes off at different times, and I don't know. I need to call the company and like the battery is going. Oh, but it could be the yeah, it could be the battery. It went off like around four, and you see today it's after twelve. It's like there's no set time when it just goes off. Okay, so you can pick back up. Just remember to edit that part in there. <laughs> no problem. What I will say is, let's talk about the date. So let's talk about the brunch first. The brunch okay. is where everybody came together before um, Tommy mm -hmm. came. Them their directive. Mm -hmm. So um, what I understand is that they and the, in the beginning for because every season they have this process. In the beginning, they have the mixer. And that mixer is usually like all day they get to meet everybody. The cameras are filming. So they meet, greet, see who they make that first connections with, send people home. And then like the next day, there's a brunch. Mm -hmm. So they go to this brunch. They get meet, you know, meet and talk again before Tommy gives them the instructions to go and date each other. That's mm -hmm. what I understand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. What did you think? What did you think about the date or the meetups with there? Because you so you had Clifton with Joy. Clifton mm -hmm. and Joy are definitely... Um, yeah, they are feeling each other. Yeah, and they they're are. judging everybody else by what... But the good thing, what they're both doing is that they're at least trying the process, unlike Cornelius and Camille. Camille last season, yes. who just didn't try right. anyone else. Um, they are actually trying to date, but you'll notice in each date, they'll be like... They come back they to each other. Back to each other. Mm -hmm. um, but Joy, they, uh, Joy doesn't like Clifton as much as Clifton likes Joy, though. I, think I Joy see no problem with that. More... You no. think you no problem with that? I think Joy likes I, I, Yeah, I think she likes him, but I see no problem with, with Clifton liking her more. Why? Why, Why? Why? Tell me why. I was just saying. <laughs> Well, I, I think that's a good thing. It, it, it is a good thing, especially if you if you're really trying to keep your explore your options. It's a good thing because if you do like someone more than they like you, you tend to shift your energy in that one direction. Like, oh, I found the one. This why I stay in. Everybody else, I'll pass through, but that's my number one here. So mm -hmm. I mean, it's a good thing. And Dear, you're telling them the real reason why. <laughs> oh, it's a reason why. Okay. There's a reason why. There's a saying that I, Rihanna mentioned and other, other persons have said. It's always, it. it's always in quotes, but you know, the saying is it's always better where the man likes you or loves you more than you like him or love him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It's an, an old <laughs> wives' tale. <laughs> Never heard that one before, but <laughs> never heard that exactly. Before. <laughs> no, I, I mean I've heard it genuinely like, you know, never love someone more than you love yourself. No, no, like it's that, something but... they tell women. They, it's oh, something okay, they okay. tell women. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Because guys, so, especially in this show, and you and you and you may have seen it, they they're not as serious about right. relationships necessarily or building relationships. So a lot of times the emotional thing, <laughs> if you don't stop <laughs> all is serious Except the emotional labor a lot of times the emotional labor of a relationship a lot of times falls on the woman the pursuit we guys tend to pursue right. they tend to date and that kind of thing but that emotional labor falls on the woman um so it it, it uh, some people feel that it's better if he likes you more because he'll make more of an effort so that's why she said that's why that okay. is the case Understood. Um, 
Yeah. But I sense. think I think that I think that Clifton and Joy have an equal um equal um thing for each other. I um, think so. Yeah. I, I think yeah. that um Tiffany, what do you think about Tiffany? Oh, oh <laughs> Tiffany, was that the one who Paul was trying to was that the one who Paul was trying to talk yes. to in the end? That was yes. the one who loved yes. Mm -hmm. yes. I knew that was love, coming. Yes. I knew that was coming. I didn't see that coming. I mean, why would they send Paul well, of all people to do it? He yeah, doesn't like and then at so, all. I don't know what was going on in the back production wise because she some, somebody did something to upset her that day or she was annoyed. Yeah, or she was pissed off or something. Something was going on with her. She just was like over it at that point. Tiffany oh. Tiffany is an example of and I'm noticing it now and so I'm going to call men on this mm -hmm. and I mentioned it last week. Tiffany is Tiffany has this. Paul has it. Mm -hmm. If I am not interested in you, I ain't giving you no good energy. Right, right. She did last week. Mm -hmm. Yes. If I'm not interested in you, I giving you basic energy. I giving you attitude, whatever. So it's interesting. You say why Paul? Because Paul was the one that uh, probably um, wanted to. You know, I think everybody else is like, mm, I don't really want to deal with her, right? But mm -hmm. Tiffany, um, Tiffany doesn't like Paul like that. Right. So when she when he was talking to her and asking her questions, she was like, well, why are you asking me this question? Like to me, if she, if it was Wiley asking her the question, she would be all into it. Like, yeah, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. When Paul was talking to Precious, his questions were actually much better and made sense than when she came on and then he asked her, but if you were doing a, 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 a open mic night, blah, 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 blah. That didn't make sense. That question oh, yeah. didn't make sense. It didn't. So yeah. her reaction to the, that particular question was valid, but his questions, his conversation with Precious, you to me, it flowed much better because I think he, in addition to Joy, I think he also sees something that he could pursue with Precious. Mm -hmm. but he, the, the, the the girl with the red and red. Yes, Precious is always wearing red. I don't know why production have her wearing red. I don't no, know what message. That's her. That's a no, PMA. because production has to approve their outfits. And she has to prove it, but they don't tell her wear red. Oh, okay. She's wearing, okay. and then she pull out. Oh, I'm wearing red, and okay. then you know. Then interesting though. Okay. He's interesting. He's interesting. I, I don't know if it's a good way or in a bad way. I was going to say qualify know. that. <laughs> mm, yeah, I don't. As we as we talk along, I, I'll solidify it. But no, because in your sex thinking last week, she was like, "I gotta keep my eye on Precious," but I liked her more this. I liked her more this week as well. I think she she's kind of calmed down a bit, and she was. Mm. Actually, well, we only saw her on that one date with um with um Paul. Yeah, we saw her um telling the other guy she wanted to go out on a date with him, where he Who's just that? seemed so uninterested. Was that Demetrius? Yeah, I think it was Demetrius. Demetrius at the at the mixer. At yeah. The bar. Okay. Okay. She did. Okay. What I like about Precious though is that she does. She adjust. I know that she adjusts. So, like, I remember yeah. last week when she was talking to uh, Tori, and they 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 connected on the mother issue. Mm -hmm. And then she was talking to someone else, and the energy was different, and it was more flirty. I think it was Laverne. With Laverne, they talked about bodybuilding. Like, she finds yes. their interests. Yeah, she connects. Like, like she maneuvers them in a yes. way where it's like she 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 doesn't come at everybody the same. She kind of deals with them according to what their interest is. So with with Paul, she was like, "Well, what are you? You know, what are you looking for?" Blah 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 blah. I like I like how she's moving. She's actually grown on me this episode. Um, with um, but what I, what we were saying with Tiffany and Wiley is that Tiffany liked Wiley and that was her only interest. So she was mm -hmm. giving everybody else this Why media. Did she like Wiley? Huh? Why did she like Wiley? Because I noticed something when they found out about the ring. Something, uh, uh, a ring that was like an expression, a place like, oh, like money. I think, that was, I that, think that was more the key than it was her. Now, I don't know if she yeah. knew Wiley. She, well, okay. she, yeah, she said she didn't. Mm -hmm. It was okay. the key to me. It was the key. Yeah. Like, if him being the son mm -hmm. of the, the the man who was the the founder of Gogo -Go Dancing, that she used that to kind because of, she didn't have any interest in him the previous no week. prior knowledge. No, she didn't have any the previous week when interest. they had the, the, the mix up. Mm -hmm. there was no interest yeah. that we saw. Okay. That we saw. Like she did some yeah. research and she was like, "Oh, this so and so, okay, let me go." And she's the um, 
I heard from uh, Simone, a previous Ready to Love contestant. She's a dancer. She's a dance teacher. She taught dance. She apparently teaches in college. So she may have done her research and then been like, oh, let me go because he's a, he's a, he's a, he's, a, he's the son he's the have royalty you know he has some right. kind of background right. so I need to be more drawn to that um uh, he's uh interesting too tiffany who the kia those girls like you know like if you get in a relationship like they will make sure that they have like the money they think that's like where I don't know. That's what I'm getting. What color gold they got? That's what you're trying to say. She strikes you. <laughs> she strikes. She, she strikes as one of those. Um, what you call? What's the word? Gold I say professional gold diggers, but um, one of those. Those persons who know exactly what they want, so they're so centered. And when you speak to them, you you know you can't like you know er- erupt their spirit because they have a, a goal in mind, and that she reminds me of that like flirty, because she know like the target, like what she's trying to get at. Okay, so I'll I'll change I'll change that to say gold digger then G O A L digger. Mm, She she has goals and she has things. That's what you were saying. She has goals in mind because I don't want to. I don't want to because she seems accomplished and she seems like she has her own or whatever. But like what you're saying is she wants she wants someone who matches her energy, her fly. Mm -hmm. What what she says. Include the money too. Yeah. Um, Include the money too. Include the money in that too. Mm-hmm. Well, I think that a, what what we will say is that a lot of the women that come on this show are usually very accomplished. They usually have business, okay. they usually have good jobs, they usually have their own homes a lot of times, they're proprietors and things like that. And so they have a right to to me to want that in a partner. Yes. Gotcha. So, yeah, yes. so that's what I would say about that. Yes. Um the now the dates, um, the date. Yeah. Uh, the meeting of the meeting of Cornelius number two, which is we had a Cornelius last season to run. Yeah. Oh. He was he was that's that it was yeah. It sounded like he was in a press. We talk about off camera, but we're he, we're not gonna talk about last season. Yeah, Cornelius okay. two. Indira, your thoughts? I didn't I didn't like Cornelius in this episode. Um, for a curveball coming in, he seems like he thinks he's the prize. And women should do what they need to do to impress him for him to pick them to be with him. I was like, sir, <laughs> you ain't what you think. He is yeah. a male Rena, Rita, whatever the girl is who got voted off last week. Who thought she was the prize? Kina. 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 He yeah. is a male Kina. Like, because she is. <laughs> okay. I ain't body shame. I ain't body right. shame. But right. she did need some support in. The, that's all I'm gonna say. In the outfit yeah. that she was wearing, she I think she <laughs> just picked the wrong outfit. I think there are dresses she could have worn, even with the like the shoulder. They have some nice shoulder thing of dresses here that highlights this, and then comes in, and then you know that she just didn't dress properly for her body I, shape. I, I, right? Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. we'll fix it up like that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But if you gonna you be know. all, if you gonna be all sadiddy and all attitude and talking about the man hip and he can't have big hips on you, you gotta make sure oh. that you want it. You understand what I'm saying? That's because that's how make she sure came your, up. Make sure your ducks in a row for it. Exactly. Right. right. She right. came up to Mando, Oh, he can't have bigger hips than me, uh, ma'am. Support. You understand what I'm saying? That's what I'm gonna yeah. say. About yeah. <laughs> your voice, I love, your voice encompasses so much shame when it's ready. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not gonna body shame somebody, but like Indira says, I, it, it, she just needed to dress for her shape, um, her right. size. But I think it's the same thing with Cornelius. It's like I, I, as he was talking and giving off this kind of I'm the ish vibe. I'm looking at his photos and I'm like, you got that? I oh, you did too. Yeah. Oh, I think I thought him and Aces they went pretty well. I thought they had it a little did. more connection. It did. It did. Went, it it did go well, well but I think little... that's because of Ace. I don't that's think that's exactly. because that of was him. Ace's energy. Oh, that was Ace. oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, you have nice eyes, and that's what he liked. He liked that. Oh, she's singing my praises or whatever. Not. That's perfect. Mm. Now, uh, clearly, they did not. Did they have the sex conversation? Yeah, they. He said something about sex being important to him. Yeah. This, that, and that's when was I started. That, was was that with him or someone else? It, no, it, it was, was throughout the episode. But it, all the okay. episodes, all they were talking yeah. about was sex, and it was like, sir, 
Yeah. You all just meet He was me. like, sex is important to me. If, if if she doesn't think sex is important to the relationship, then I don't know, something's wrong with her or whatever, whatever. I was like, huh? So can we can we get to know you first? Like, you know, yes. like what do you like to do and what are your hobbies? What are your goals? And so we're gonna take it over to that date in someone's basement. Listen to me. I was so pissed when I saw that. I was like, ooh basement is this with this little foosball table oh the ping pong how thing mm -hmm. how is that a date why did y'all make these women dress up in their good clothes coming in here like they thought they were going to a nice right. establishment yes. To yes. Sit in someone's basement and eat this dry pizza yeah. i was so mad for them yeah i was hot i think if they had said to the women you know it's we're gonna go for a casual date so dress you know jeans is fine but obviously how the women came, they weren't told that it was going to be a casual date. Yeah. And the man came, and the man came in jeans and t-shirt. Yes. So they, I guess the man got the memo. Oh, that's just how they ever was coming. Well, a man, a guy planned it. Uh, 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 yes, it was um, Paul. Was guy planned. Yeah. Paul, Paul was like, this was just, okay, so no wonder. There you go. There's the answer right now. <laughs> <laughs> Paul did it. <laughs> <laughs> it was all I was like, that was someone's basement. I would listen to me. I would have been like, pop this finger. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm not you know I, what? I think they should just keep Paul in because Paul is just going to be there for the joke. I mean, well, obviously, obviously, Paul. I was like, you did this all by yourself. You, you plan, yeah, <laughs> and and that's what and that's what we were saying last week in Dior. We were saying it's a dating show, and I wish that they would put some focus on the dating, the I, effort. I in I would like to see them plan the dates. And even last week, we talked about some of the good dates on the show, the Rashid and Simone truck date, where yes, production set it up, but Rashid had it this is what he wanted he was like okay right. I, I sell cars i deal with cars i want to have a car the date with um uh liz and jason at the at, with the ferris wheel and whatever not mm -hmm. um the other good day too was a uh, uh aj and um kyra, kyra yes so he played the piano for her yes. at, later on in that date and then i think also like going to an art gallery jason did that with kyra as kyra. well mm -hmm. like if you like I would like to see them plan the dates and, and then execute the dates and put some energy into planning as opposed to what appears to be production saying, okay, you're showing up here. And then like, they're like just showing up at these places. And I didn't, I also didn't like how they had three women to two men. Two men. Mm -hmm. I didn't like that. Cause one of the complaints, a lot of women I always have every season is even though it's even keeled where you have the same amount of men as the same amount of women, they always set it up. It always feels as if they set it up for the women to kind of battle each other. Yes. Because why would you have three women and two men in twice, in mm -hmm. two occasions? Right. I right. That was, I didn't like right. that. Yeah. I saw that now, as a red flag. I'm like, they're not focusing. I feel like if a guy it? pulled out, which may possibly have happened, but for it to have happened twice, it's like, no, it feels like y'all trying to cause like unnecessary conflict, unnecessary conflict. Like y'all trying to make it oh. like, okay, let's see if they can fight. And then Ace is Ace like, I know not run. They look like they pairing up. Let me go sit to this bar and relax. Exactly. Relax myself because like in Dira said, she probably like, none of these guys are my guys. Like these two, right. none of them are what I, what I, now what I will say. And this is why I like lifting this episode. He's a smart, and even Love. though he likes joy, he still was check. Even when Tiffany was on the side of him yes. with the attitude, yes. he was. I just want to make sure you okay. Yes, like I don't. I think them. that I listen that, that right there. I give Clifton props <laughs> this week because you know I was kind of on the fence with him. I wasn't sure last week, mm -hmm. but that right there because there are men who will they will see a woman walk off and they be like, oh, she's just looking for attention. Let me just ignore mm -hmm. her. Mm -hmm. Some will see and be like, okay, wonder what's going on with her. But mm -hmm. they won't go over. He went over. He checked on her. You know mm -hmm. how big that is? Yeah. That is it's big. It's pretty big. I liked his energy. I like his energy, and that's why he's up here. Even though he's he's a little he's playful, he's a happy person. Um yeah, he he's does, pretty cool. He yeah, he does seem connected to joy, which is fair. 
but like he's still giving other women a try. He's still engaging. That's what I'm saying. Like you don't yeah. have to be class to the person, or you don't even have to whatever to just be engaging. And hey, how are you? Right. Be Everything a part better. of the process. Right. And date. Right. So right. I got him. Um, Carmen. Um, I liked her, and the I actually thought you she did? and Laverne. Their date is yes. probably the better date of, of yes. yesterday. Like in terms of their conversation, I at least learned right. one thing. I learned that they were both on the Air Force. Yeah. And that they both are divorced and that they both have kids. Like I learned something in their conversation. Right. right. Nobody else did I learn anything about. Nobody else. I didn't learn but anything. I think about. maybe it's maybe it's how they added it to as well. Cause I didn't feel like any of the dates had any like substance to it or even the dates itself didn't it was like is it really a date day like because it just didn't appear that way that's what but i'm saying Carmen, i think she's gonna buck heads with uh it's gonna happen she's gonna buck heads because from that intro that she's a boss mm-hmm. you know anyone would be like she's a boss i'm like oh lord she's gonna bring drama now <laughs> she does look she's like she, she she does look like she was saying like production was like going and i and again my background kind of like there are certain people you know you see their energy like they're open to being the fire mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. Being the fire, yeah. and it seems like she's open to being the fire in, oh, she's going to be the fire ace like like ace is the cool and cool and the calm and she's like i'm gonna bring the fire i'm gonna i'm gonna do some little jobs in my confessional to try to be whatever and she's she's bringing some kind of fire and it's not all copacetic but um, what I like, she had like a necklace on. Um, that I was like, oh, that's not powerful. She had a necklace that said powerful. Yes. But yes. I loved it. I was like, oh, that's cute. Um, I thought it was interesting, and I liked the fact that she was on the Air Force. Um, that kind of gave me that gives me an idea that this is a this is a strong woman. Um, mm-hmm. and she don't play. But I also liked when Laverne asked her, um, if I'm if I'm getting out of hand, how are you going to check me? And she kind of had a subdued way of doing it as opposed yes. to like a, 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 in your yes. face. She was like, okay, I'll pull you and whisper in the air. And it was like a nice little flirty kind of thing they had going on. Right. So I did like that about her. Um, I thought it was Which funny. made me wonder if he had such a great date with her, why was he giving all this flowery, um, you know, descriptions right. of Ace? Yeah. I, I think he and I think he and Ace have been talking to each other on the phone. Okay. I think that he has mm-hmm. a genuine connection with Ace, and some of them saying Ace is peace. Ace is mm-hmm. peace. He's Ace is love. And yeah. Right. He's saying her praises in that deliberation. It was I like Ace, but I see all of that. So I don't know what you what must have been on a couple of dates with her as well, right? To see this right piece. that they didn't show. I yeah. Don't forget Clifton. Yeah. Clifton went on a um, date with. The Kita, and he kind of connected with the Kita as well, but not of course, not as much as Joy. But there was some connection there. The connection. No, the Kita has a lot of connections. The connection was that she connections going on. That was the connection. Again, she wanted to have a sex. But that was, but that was, that actually, not to say that because he did say he would have fun with her. He did say he would have fun with her. Words. Joy is the serious connection. She's the fun connection. And if you notice, at the end of it, the Kia asked him for a hug. When Joy, he was right. with Joy in the, in the beginning, he was like, uh-uh, right. come, I want my hug. Mm-hmm. Type but, of thing. Um, the part when they were in, it was Joy, um, the Rasa dude. Tori. You know, right, that guy. Oh, yeah. Tori. Tori. Mm-hmm. With, the, with, with the locks in your head. Let me say locks. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> She said something, Joy said something. Um, I don't know if exactly if, if I heard that's that, but she said that she, she doesn't I think she's talking to Paul, maybe. Maybe about traveling. She like to be staying stick at, stuck in what was it about traveling or that was with Paul, like, that was David Paul, mm-hmm. but she talked about okay, okay. traveling because she's she sings, she's a singer. And she okay. doesn't like to be stuck. That was the date with Paul. And then he asked okay. her, Do you have time for a relationship or something like that? That, I thought I thought she was talking about that in reference to a relationship. Like she doesn't want to be like stuck and whatever. So I'm like, okay, so she doesn't want to really be in a relationship, or she just wants. But now that you clarified it about travel, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, but Paul, that... Paul wouldn't be her. Uh, Paul wouldn't be that. That that it wouldn't work. 
No. no. Already, and she so, like, had like, like, that out. Like you said, she don't necessarily want a relationship with Paul, and that's why she said it like that. I am positive if she was talking to Clifton, okay. she wasn't going to say, oh, I'm always traveling, and I don't want to be stifled, and I don't... Because if you come on a show called Ready to Love, at some point, you're going to have to have a center. You can't just right. be all over the place. You have to center. You have to have a base. If you're going to be in a relationship, you have to. Of course, you can travel for your job. We're not saying you can't travel for your job, but you can't be like, oh, I don't want. I don't want to. I don't. So what? You expecting him to jump off his job and and roll with you? No, because he has to have his job. But I think it yeah. was because of talking to Paul, and maybe it's not one hundred percent there. But what a lot of them are doing is they're trying to play the game. The ready to love game is I'm trying to at least keep you interested so that when you go and vote me voting, because again, mm. women are getting voted off this week. Mm. So they're gonna, she's going to at least express some interest to try to be interested in the man, even if it's not a situation that she wants. She at least want to be, you know, keep him. Yes. Them yeah, hook. So that when they talk and they say, Oh, well, joy and joy in my talk. Tiffany right. was like, Yeah, I only like Wiley. No, no, and then really like it, when she got voted off to say, I don't know how they I want to know why they voted me off. Mom, you was giving them I don't give a F energy. Like you didn't wasn't I mean, and I understand being genuine and not trying to play the game, but not to the point that you're being um offensive. Abrasive. Abrasive, yes. Wow. Abrasive. To that point. Because it was interesting. Because Tiffany had moments where she was right and moments mm -hmm. where she was wrong. Mm -hmm. In her conversation with new guy Cornelius, who thinks he's all of that, she said, What is it that you want? Around to your point about yes. okay. right. she said, what do you want. And she said, Do you want a relationship? Do you want like just a little relationship or do you want to be in a marriage? And he said, Well, any would work. Um, it you know, it was like kind of flippant, like eh, whatever, whatever, whatever you want, you know. And then she was like, I and she literally mm -hmm. gently put her hand on the table, on the little ping pong table. That's what I saw. And said, I want marriage. There was nothing wrong with her saying that in that moment. No, nope. his You're comment right. is. It was negative. That was negative. Maybe if you don't get your gas light and self <laughs> You know, that was interesting, though, because I was like, I mean, I saw it, too, and it was playful. Like, you know, she was like, I want March. I'm like, but when did the energy turn off unless we, you know, just happen off camera or something? But No, he was being, he, he, that told me where his, what he come here for. He ain't come here for nothing serious. I, need, I just going to say, and when it's, when it, I was like, dude, why are you telling all, you know, like, whatever you want First of all, you weren't even answering the question directly. And secondly, when you were talking to Ace, you sound a bit more sure of what you wanted then. So what's your angle now? Like, what are you, what are you trying to get at right now? His angle is he don't like, he doesn't, he doesn't, that's not what he's here for. So you saying commitment, my, like, I, I found that to be the case too, but to see you last year when she was questioning them and mm -hmm. she was saying, I think the, the first guy, one of the second guys that got voted off, Carrington, and she was asked, and he was like, I had never, he had never been in a relationship. He said he's never cheated because he's never been in a relationship. Basically, he just is, I guess, have situation. Yeah. So why you come on the show and you ain't never been in a relationship, sir? That, but anyway, that was the last season. But I remember she was questioning him about serious matters because she wanted to have kids and she wanted to be married and that kind of thing. And then he right. felt like too much. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, y'all playing, y'all, you know, like when you're not. If your philosophy is, I don't subscribe to marriage, then you state that. Like, I don't subscribe to marriage, but I do believe in long-term monogamous relationships. You understand what I'm saying? Because everybody don't subscribe to marriage. I'm not saying right or wrong, right. but I'm that everybody doesn't. But right. if someone brings it up, it can't be like a red, like you making it a red flag that they want to be married. Like that's, especially yeah. if one and the woman wow. is a woman age, like she's factoring in, she wants to be married, she wants to have kids, all of these things. She as a woman has to plan. As a man, you could be 60 and be still producing children. So, oh, you know, sure. I felt that he, he gaslit her and I didn't like that. Um, and um, yeah, I felt yeah. that he's not, yeah. there, not serious. He's not so serious. let me ask Taran, Taran, which of the ladies stood out to you this week? And and who, which one who would you some of your which favorite? one would you date? or would uh, you be interested in if you were on the show? 
I actually like two of them, and that would be Joy and Ace. Even though Ace looks like you know she may be smoking a little marijuana <laughs> here and there, but between Ace and Joy, because Joy, she can hold a conversation and she has a nice peacefulness about her. And plus, she's sexy. And the same thing about Ace. Ace has this whole zenfulness going on. Like she found herself, and she just kind of moving with that. Um, but like. Willie, did I say it right? Willie. It's Wiley, 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 Wiley. Okay, Wiley. Okay, Riley. But like Riley said, um, I feel like she do needs to show like a little bit more sides to her so people mm-hmm. can get to see her other than, you know, peaceful trees mm-hmm. and, you know, all that yeah. stuff. But Ace and, um, and Joy. Joy. Those would be my... And so who would have been your bottom? Like, I... My, so go ahead. No, I'm saying who would be who would have been your bottom, Tiffany, or mm-hmm. is there another woman outside of Tiffany that you're not feeling? I would say Carmen and Red Dress. Precious. Lady Red. <laughs> yes, Carmen and Lady Red. Okay. Um. Okay. Carmen, just I don't. This little, I think she's just playing her her person. She says she does have a, have a strong personality. I think it's being played down, but good much right now, okay. and I feel like. She said I, that. You feel like she said that to um Laverne that right. she was too right. So and Lord, I do really think she means that for real. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't think that she's gonna be like so out there, but I think it's gonna be a lot. It's gonna she's gonna be a lot. I didn't and see then, her in the trailer. I didn't other than the little the fl- the part where she was walking in the floral part, which that was a part of the trailer. I didn't see her. In the trailer, like I didn't see her. Like, we what said, do you mean? Well, she's a, she's a curveball. Okay. Yeah. So they're not gonna put yeah. they're they're not gonna put the curveballs in the trailer. No, but the other remember I told you the the, the, the blind skin chick that uh, Tori was checking. She was in the trailer. Yeah, but that's a snippet because I watch it and I still like I can't make out her features. I don't know who that is. That's what I'm saying. I haven't seen her. her like I don't remember seeing. Oh. Her, I can look at the trailer again and see if I see. Maybe her. she was in that 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 cast group thing with the pool. Mm-hmm. Maybe she was. Maybe she was in one of those. I don't know. So, Indira, what what give us your top male and bottom male? Okay, so yeah, so I a lot of <laughs> them switched easy. from last week. <laughs> um, I am. I actually have a question mark by Laverne. For what top or bottom? For for both, remember it was last week. It was Laverne and Tori for me. Okay, at the top. And, yeah, at the top. Oh, okay. And so now I am not too sure. Why? What? What got you off of Laverne this week, or make you uncertain about Laverne this week? I am. I noticed what Precious said when she said Laverne is very social, mm-hmm. and very talkative, and mm-hmm. I probably didn't understand what she was meaning until this week, mm-hmm. where he likes to talk. He likes to talk, like in every well, you know conversation. Like I no, no, no. I don't. I don't. It's it's just something I'm keeping my eye on because it can be negative. And when to, when um, Tommy told him like, "Now, nah, Laverne, ask a question and be be quiet. Listen for the response." And I was like, "Okay, what's that about? Would does Laverne like talk a lot or something? Or he tries to hijack the conversation? Yeah. I don't know. So okay, that has me kind of like, okay, let me see where it's gonna go." So Laverne is still there, but I have my eye on him because that could go left pretty quickly. Okay. Um, and then Clifton for me this week, points, kudos for, I mean, just for that, what he did with Ace, that was, that was, that was cool for, for me. I like that. Um, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Clifton. You said Pirate Cornelius, my bad. No, <laughs> no Clifton. <laughs> um, who needs to go? Paul needs to go. And Cornelius needs to go. Cornelius's presence this week made Paul bearable for me. True. I, I I liked I liked Paul this week with women he likes. So Paul is a person. If he don't like you, he will ask you stupid questions, or yeah. he will he will just be he kind of just it'll just not make sense because you right. missed the last. Yeah. Um, to Ron, but he um, he had a question and thing. He was going at, at Ace about a divorce, mm-hmm. Ace's divorce as well. A lot of divorces in this season, and um, he was like, 
almost making it seem like it was her fault without even trying, right. trying like, without being, he was like, Empathetic. A sorry, which I did not yeah. like. Um, but I want to see him on like kind of pursue someone he likes um, because he, he does with someone he likes, he seems to be bearable and tolerable. Yeah. So I know we said Paul would be next to go, but I'm almost think wondering. I think so. Not huh? Yet. I don't think so. Not. I mean, yeah. although he does have little, although he's boring, I don't think so yet. Because I mean, he adds a little bit of, I guess, texture to it. Like it's just funny. Like it's not going anywhere. Oh, you mean like, as far as him being voted off? Yeah, not not yet. I don't think so. Not no, so they, no, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying based on last week, based on how who was last week. We said we said we did say we both said Tiffany would be the one off next woman oh. off. We said he would be the oh, next. Wow. We said that from last week, and we said he mm. would be. But now they introduced Cornelius. I don't see Cornelius connecting with anyone. Like who? I didn't see him make a genuine connection with anyone. The woman mm. that actually was embracing of him, which was Ace. He didn't. He didn't big her up enough in the deliberation because again, he think he all that. So he didn't really. He didn't really uh, kind of lift her up enough in the conversation with Tommy. So he's gonna be. Uh, he's gonna suffer the fate of who he likes not liking him because he's probably he probably likes someone who's not in his league. He probably likes someone like Joy, or um, I don't know, like someone like Dakia. Mm-hmm. Like that would probably be his his flavor. A lot, a lot of times, the guys they have a person they like, and then the ones who like them are the ones who giving them play they don't like. Right? So where they? Hmm? That's a weird eh? It is weird, but it is literally how this show it's is wired. Right. I find that's the case in life as well. I think that a lot of people are not in relationships because you like someone that's your type, that you're not their type. Mm-hmm. Like someone who's not their type. So there's this whole circular thing of people not connecting because everybody's going based on their type. And they're so, not giving them a fair chance. Right. And so that's why that's why I say like if you in a situation like this where you're meeting different people, be friendly. Like, because you may learn to like the person that isn't your type. Yeah. You may grow to like them. You may grow to mm-hmm. you may yeah. grow to find them attractive, and that's for the men and the women. You may grow it, and like we talked about married at first sight. That's a huge issue in that show where, you know, you're marrying someone at first sight. They're not your physical type. Just be nice. Like, just be nice. Right. You don't have to sleep with, with them. You don't have to kiss them, but just be nice and try to learn them and that kind of thing. And then at the end of the process, if you don't want to be with them, then just cut them off and say, well, let's have a like conversation them. because most of us just function on what we see. And then we just make an assumption like, oh, this person automatically for me. But sometimes when you talk to them, be like, oh, your personality. And she has like death to her. And that mm-hmm. kind of turns on a whole new, you see them on a, in a different light. Mm-hmm. After that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think Paul's, I think Paul's curl. I don't know if she's gonna be on this. I don't think she's on the show, but whomever he gets with, I think it's gonna be someone that's a little bit more toned down. At about it, for the match, I think it have to be someone that's a bit more toned down than he is a bit, because it gives me a little bit more like, you know, that stay home kind of thing going on. What do you mean stay home? Even, like you like to go out? No, no, not not go out. But I don't think he is going to be in. I don't think he's open into like exploring stuff or doing like adventurous stuff like that, that kind of thing i think red dress i think she's i you think she, this fits- episode, she reminds him of a good time i don't think she's gonna stay with him like i don't think i don't see that happening with them too she if they might- if they I make actually, it beyond I mean, that i actually do think of the people of the women on the show precious precious or jo- like i think precious or joy may be two people he's interested in uh, mm-hmm. There is a clip with him with another woman. I'm not sure if it's Sabrina or Dakia because we didn't. Did we? Oh, Sabrina was on that 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 basement date. Um, um, but I do. I could see him with Precious. I could see Precious with him. Um, I haven't yet figured out like who Precious really is connecting to. What I think Precious is doing right now is feeling out all the men, which I, which I think is a, a valid thing to do, and she's trying to see which one she connects with. So. She hasn't like joy and and uh, locked in to anybody. Locked in. Yeah. Joy, two points right. that I didn't get anything from, or they didn't even display much of their um, personalities, or they're not an option to. But it was the dark guy and Sabrina. 
I saw Sabrina playing at the, the booth yes. giving those little questions. Yeah. Yeah. And then the other guy, yeah, but I like, didn't see nothing. I think them. production yeah. production is is doing something. So we didn't get to see them this week, but production is up to something. Mm-hmm. Demetrius bores the life out of me. I am sorry. I have nothing. I thought Paul did that. No, no. Uh, Paul, no. a little bit of an entertainment value. Demetrius is like, ugh. Like, ugh. Mm. I'm not feeling <laughs> someone, someone in a thing I was watching, <laughs> our followers said that he re- he looks like Funky Geneva with a beard, and I can't get that out of my head. <laughs> Funky Geneva is he's a uh, like a TV oh. radio personality or an online personality. He does do drag, so not the drag photos, but his regular face. Mm-hmm. He has yeah. like Fox, you know, mm-hmm. the Fox has a, uh, a YouTube talk show. He's one of the commentators on that. He, he along with Star Jones' ex husband, and I think Claudia, Claudia yeah, yeah. from um, who was Fox in the real and. What, 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 Claudia yeah. Jordan? Yeah. Claudia Jordan, yes. He oh, did yeah. go with her, like a commentary show on Fox. So and when I, I was like, yeah, he does. Because I was like, he does with a beard. He looks like Funky Dineva with a beard. And then everybody, and then people were laughing. I was like, no, he looks like Funky Dineva with a beard. Like, because people yeah. were laughing. Last week, the women were swooning over him. And I couldn't figure out why. And, Who's and, the beard? But then, the like, beard. I see even his personal energy is just... Not intrigued. Like, yeah. I notice we didn't even talk about him until Tehran just brought him up. I didn't even remember him. Like he's yeah. not. I mean, yeah. Me. Well, it's like they, they didn't. They didn't to, give him it? a lot of airtime to. No, speak. but he was talking to the Takeda yeah. surely made her rounds today. The key, yeah, the key is doing what she's supposed to be doing because you are supposed to kind of move around and move around and figure people. Mm-hmm. Out. He's doing that. Clifton is doing it. Um, Precious is doing it to some degree. Uh, Paul is doing it. Not. Not in the most gracious way. Right. I thought I thought his let go of Tiffany though. I thought that was like just that was just funny because I do think in that. Yes. <laughs> let me tell you why I thought it was funny because she thought she was on an actual date, which it is. It they are set up to be dates. Yeah. So they aren't supposed to know like, hey, I'm. Coming. They don't tell them they're being eliminated. They just tell them they have a date they coming. Have a date. Out. So technically, she's thinking she's on a date, and that's what made it funny because oh. she thought she was on a date, and she thought she had the cards. So she was sitting there telling him, "No, don't ask me any questions." Oh, I don't. And then the thing is, then she started asking him questions. So I was like, "Well, why can't he ask you questions if you can ask him? Has he traveled? Why can't he? Because the question he asked on that date was." Mm-hmm. Was a good question. The question he asked on basement date, no. The question he asked her then about like whatever, she was like, you know, no. And I'm I, like, Go I think ahead. what Tiffany was trying to get from him was suggest like flow, like let's flow. And you, right now, it's, it seems like an interrogation because it was more, it's more like the basement kind of thing. Like, so tell me, like, what would you? Well, see, that's well, because those... of the the yes, Taran, because of the vibes and the energy. Like, like Molly was saying, if you like someone. Then the conversation's gonna flow, and you're the just gonna be, you, right? keep going with it. But if there's some wall or some tension somewhere, you're gonna like struggle to try to find things to talk about. So that's where he start asking questions because he's like, "I can't figure her out. I don't know what to say. So let me just at least ask her some questions to see if the conversation would go." We'll and then she'd be like, "Why are you interviewing me? Why are you, you know?" She came there thinking, um, she, she must have forgotten that they were voting off women this week. Uh, she she was not tracking because she came there. Maybe that, she, that's what it was. Probably. She came there thinking she had the cards. So when, <laughs> when he said the man not the ready to love, to love, he said, "Did I just get off? like who's not ready to love?" Yes, you did. You, 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 you got voted off, and then she was cussing and carrying on, and then she was like, "Do you think I care?" No, I don't. And then they showed her walking, no, no, no. cussing, and doing whatever. And I was like, "Oh, you do." You the care. funny part is when Paul going to give a hug. I'm like, "Paul, don't do that." She's like, "No, don't I don't want to hug." Yeah. No, because they they usually do. They will hug the person or whatever. And I thought that was. I thought the way he handled that. I thought that was. Yeah. That was a good way to handle it. I thought that date he handled that date well, considering yes. she, she came there with a combative yes. kind of. Uh, I'm 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 everything, and I, you don't ask me nothing. Uh, da, 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 da. I was like, yeah, bye. See you. Later. Yeah, there you go. Walk of shame. <laughs> but yeah, she 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 because uh, last week I didn't get that from her. Last week she seemed very calm, and then this week she came in and she just had um she had moments. I wouldn't say the whole thing, but she had moments of being a bit a bit much that I felt. Yeah. Um, yeah. So next to go, I think, might be Cornelius, because the guys are next. 
Mm-hmm. So I think I think it, I think Paul may live to see a few more weeks. Yeah, could be Cornelius because next week too we're getting another new guy and new girl. Yeah, they just finding yes. the people. They just yeah. finding the people. So what? I mean, like at what point do they stop? Are they just going to be? Well, it's, it's supposed to be ten. 10. It's, it's usually 20, 20, 10. 10 of right. each, and they they clearly oh, didn't have enough when they, they started. started with seven each. And so they so, have about six more people to add in to the conversation. So if they've added two this week and then two next week, and then two, they'll probably add two the following week. Right. Um, and so that is, that's why I said last week, the reason they were doing it like that is because they didn't find everybody because now they're just adding people into the mix. But they got to tell these people when they add them into the mix, like, listen, these people are already kind of getting to know each other. Right. So you got to go in and and... like use everything. Come on here and try to get to know, call people. Well, they're not actually right. supposed to each other actually they're not supposed mm-hmm. to be talking on the phone and all that mm-hmm. stuff but that doesn't make sense to me like how do they get to know each other i can understand right. going on dates but not um not calling i think they should be no to- i think they do that because they don't want they don't want them to spill secrets with which end up happening anyway but sort of like behind the scenes secrets they they want to control so they tell them okay don't you're not supposed to talk to them outside of the show That's type dumb. of thing that's the only way Aisha and Dante connected was because they were talking outside of the show. So that was what kind of, when they got to the house, it was like, okay, let me see if the connection we had outside of the show, right. the phone, because Aisha yes, said yes. she was following directions, so she wasn't yes. going to their parties and whatever not. Right. But that was the only way she connected with Dante was on the phone. So I do think they should be able to talk on the phone, but now, after what happened with Phil, because I was just saying, why they can't date? And then now, and I see what happened with Phil and Shiloh and how that blew up as a year. They probably should. And then all the fighting and stuff, even with last season, with all the kicking and the this and oh, that. They, oh, they had fighting and thing. Off, off. They had functions oh. outside of the show, and stuff happened, and so there was a lot of behind the scenes tension that viewers mm-hmm. viewers saw play out on screen, but we were confused as to why, so what was happening and why was this why happening. There was so much combative energy, and then yeah. after the show, they talked about what was happening. So that yeah. was that was kind of so. Now I get it. Um, but yeah. yeah, so we are, yeah. I think we've covered everybody. Yeah, that's good. That's yeah, good. Yeah. 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 So you, you did actually. I don't think I said my topics, but I think y'all know what my topic is. I said, yes. Let's see what my top is. My bottom. Yeah, I said what my bottom was. Yeah. Who was your top? Clifton. Clifton was my top this week. Okay. He's not, he's not someone that I would be attracted to as just physically, but mm-hmm. I like his energy and I like that he is a kind, he seems to be a kind person. Right. Um, and um, like I said, I, I, I actually, Ace and Joy, I like them. Um, uh, but I liked Ace from last week and then Joy kind of um, showed up this week. Um, I liked her very frank conversation. Um, and then Carmen, Carmen is, I, 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 I could take Carmen for a few more weeks. I could take her for could take a few more weeks. <laughs> yeah, I could take her for a few more weeks because I think she, I think you do, I, you know, you do need someone there to kind of shake it up a bit. Like you do need someone yeah. there. To yeah. You can't have everybody being ace and being like, oh, the sky is blue. <laughs> yeah. so, no, no, that's not ace. ace. That's not ace. Is like, that is ace. ace. No, ace, this is ace. Ace is, listen, it's all peace and love. It's all peace and love. I'm experienced. <laughs> so, so let me ask you. So who's your top, like not from watching it, but in real life, like if you saw these guys, who Tori. would you actually? I said the last one. Tori. Tori. Yeah, it was Tori. You know, who is yours? In Hers was Tori as well. Tori and Laverne. Oh, oh okay. Laverne. okay. Tori and Laverne. I actually okay. like Laverne this week. I, without knowing them saying him talking or whatever, clearly that's again stuff happening behind the scenes that we're not privy to. Um, I liked him this week. I thought I liked him. Not as I liked him. Um, not again. I liked him. Like I would probably go on a date just to see like what the conversation would be. You know what I mean? Yes. Um. And see yeah. how he flowed because I would like to see a com- I would like to see a conversation with these thirty and forty year olds that has substance that is not based around sex or positions or whatever. I want to see them have a conversation about life, about whatever. Now, last week we talked about the heavy conversation about the mother and the this and the that, and we said that was heavy. It's like we have to find a balance between the heavy, kind of traumatic conversations. 
-hmm. and the, this just fluff that is just not relevant. And we have to kind of find that middle, that middle ground of how. Well, um, Clifton had a good one with last week when Kina came into the conversation. Who was that? Dakia? When they were talking about where do you want to live? Where do you see yourself in five years? Where do you want to be? Was Sabrina. That was Sab Sabrina. Oh, that was Sabrina. Okay. They were talking about on the beach, mm -hmm. you know? So I thought that was at least the start of a good conversation. I think Kina came in and, and then ruled it off. Yeah. It just, Kina came was like, um, I probably want to move, move to Houston. Yeah. Or Atlanta. Paid like, attention at all. <laughs> so she was, I, you know, she was, yeah, she was the mess. <laughs> Kina was the one who got voted off last week um, to Raj. Okay. The one lady that got voted off last week. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so that's yeah. it. So we will see what happens next week. I need them to bring it next week because this week, dropped for me i like the first episode and then this week was kind of like oh my god i need to see adult dates as an adult i want to these dates look like teenager dates like what teenagers would do this fake golf like you grown go to real golf like go to <laughs> real golf course <laughs> i can't it felt that i work with kids so it looked like a place i would take and i wouldn't even i don't even know if i would take kids there like this little place like take Take like go somewhere, plan a date. Like I don't want to see y'all eating no dry pizza and and whatever not. Like the food, like eat real food, right? The food even looks mediocre, you know. So I was like, they did it not might be on a budget, huh? It might be on a budget. Yeah, it's a budget issue, but you can still have a low budget and make an effort. Like even and I forgot this one. Even Walter and Moment stayed last week. They was in like a a floor like a, a botanical garden even that was nice you can do a little picnic in a garden somewhere and then pack a nice little lunch and and, and sit there or something like that but i don't want to see nobody in these little fake golf places <laughs> and um and, and this basement in foosball that was like what i that pissed me off i really was upset about that. uh, That's what you all want? don't forget it was a it was a day plan i mean it was a only <laughs> plan by paul <laughs> Paul didn't plan that. Paul didn't plan that. Paul had to say he planned that, but Paul didn't plan that. Paul was the voice of saying, "I put this date." It was like um, Clifton said, "I called this date," and he named all these people. Clifton had never met Carmen, so in a way, Clifton invited Carmen. Right. He just met Ooh, Carmen, fine. Fine. and he said, "Oh, I was interested," and then I saw her blue eyes, and he stepped back, and then well, you know whatever the case may be, those eyes weren't working. Um, her confessional look is fine. Without the blue eye, so I'll just say that there. Let me stay focused. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> so I'm I'm a fan of you. Like I can't do the lashes, like oh, over over too much lashes, and even too much weave. Like if it looks like I think weave is something that you have to do in a way that it looks natural to natural, your right. face and that kind of thing. And I do think uh, sometimes the wigs and the weaves are a bit too much. Um, but I don't think she needs to say that, and I just don't think the blue eyes. As someone who used to wear contacts back in the day, colored contacts, but I wore contacts that matched to my skin tone. Um, and there was a reason for that. That was because I couldn't find the, the regular, um, the plain ones. I couldn't, I couldn't find them in the solution. <laughs> like I couldn't see them, oh. and I couldn't it was just for me to put them in and take them out. Right. Colored yeah. contacts had texture to them, and so they were easier for me to maneuver. But now, now I use the regular ones because they've now progressed to having like a bluish hue, and so I mm -hmm. can't. I, I don't have to use it. So with me now not having to do it, I don't. But when I, I, I understand. You know, some people also do it for a look, but I think you have to find a color that matches your skin tone. Yes, so brown or something like that. That blue is that's for like Halloween. You're way off base. If you playing um what did, what did you name? What did you name? What Haley Berry was? Storm. If you, you playing Storm, that's what I thought. You better with a gray wig. And, <laughs> so. Okay, on that note. <laughs> on that note, we're gonna end right here. We want to thank you for tuning in. Come and join us next week. As we talk it up some more. And again, send us your ideas, your comments, your feedback, your suggestions. Send a shout out to Taran for joining us today. We're so excited. Um, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>